hello and welcome to After the Show. I'm your host, Crystal Vilkaitis, and welcome back. I hope that you are having a great week. This week, I talked to Susan Nagan from Wizbang Training, and I hope you had the opportunity to listen to that episode because it was packed. I have been hearing feedback that people loved Susan's episode. She is so rooted in retail. And she gives some really great tips on this episode that can save you so much time, that can make you a way more efficient retailer. And we also talk about the power of learning and online education and investing in ourselves. The more you learn, the more you earn, I so believe. And so it was a packed episode. I'm going to dive deep in some of those things that we talked about today. But before I do... If you're new, this is an after the show where we talk about this week's episode. It's not a recap. We just go deeper on some of the things discussed. We live stream this in our Rooted in Retail Facebook group. If you're not a part of the group, join the group. This is where all the conversation is happening about the episodes. And I'm active in there. I would love to see you in there. You can also be tuning in live. Michelle is. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. She's live with me in the Facebook group. If you're live here, Say hello. I'd love to see you. And if you're watching the replay, type in replay so I know that you did show up and watch this video in our Facebook group. Now we have a couple of announcements before we talk about today's or this week's episode. The first one is that there will not be an after the show next week. I am going to the Madonna concert, which I think will be super fun. And then the next night, I'm going to a hockey game. So I have a packed social schedule next week and will not be here live with you. But don't you worry. We have two episodes that are coming out next week. My guests are from the Dallas Market. When I did interviews at the Dallas Market Center in January, I got the opportunity to talk to one of the co-owners of Coco and Dash, Teddy Kerrigan. Loved our conversation. We talk about social media. Instagram, putting yourself out there and working with your family in the store. And then I also talked to Brianna Cannon. She is a vendor as well as a retailer. And holy guacamole, her brand is on point. She's like a branding expert. She's got tens of thousands of followers on Instagram. And she talks about how she gets it done, things for you to focus on. Her and I just feel like it was like rapid fire the whole episode. She gives so many tips and actionable things that you can be doing for your brand and for your social media and to grow your business. So you're going to want to tune into both of those episodes next week. I cannot wait. Yes, Michelle, Party Hats and Pauline is here, who's on my team. Hey, team, what's up? Pauline's actually in my house as well. How fun is that? She doesn't like to be on camera, but Pauline's my COO. She's out here for a couple days to workshop. It's so important for you to take time, focus time, that we'll talk about today because Susan talked about this in the episode. Take the focus time to really analyze the business. Do some of those things that maybe you've been putting off. Some of the foundational work, you keep going as a business owner. There's a million things you have to do every single day. And sometimes we don't pause and stop and really work on the foundational aspects of our business, really looking at what our goals are, where we want to be going, the vision casting, which, Michelle, it was so fun for us to do that together in Palm Springs at our Oasis of Opportunity event. But you've got to take that time away from your store where you're really focused on what the vision is and what your goals are. And I really believe that you have to schedule that in. And so that's exactly what we did here at Crystal Media with having Pauline come in this week and help us get really clear on where we're going and our messaging and It's been a busy day and I just can't believe it's already five o'clock. Like it's just been such a busy, awesome day. But yay. And Michelle's got some hot dogs for you there, Pauline. I love it. (laughs) Pauline loves hot dogs. (laughs) My final announcement is that we only have three more VIP tickets left for Evolve. Three. And we have an email going out this week. So depending, those might sell before that email goes out. But if you want to go to Evolve, get a VIP ticket. It includes your lunches. It includes our really cool VIP lounge. It includes an extra half day, a workshop day of social media with Steph and I. You get a lot with that VIP ticket. So now's the time. Go to crystalmediaco.com slash evolve. If you missed out on VIP, we're going to sell out. Don't worry. We still have standards as I'm filming this. So there's a good chance you could still get your standard ticket. And we can't wait to see you there. Pauline and I walked to the property yesterday. And we saw our big, beautiful ballroom. 
And it's just such an expansive venue and things that we have planned for you and the new things we're doing this year. I'm really excited for everything that's that we're working on. So I can't wait to see you in Denver. Okay, so let's talk about Susan's episode this week. If you listen to it and you're in listening to the replay or if you're live in here, share in the Facebook group. What was your biggest takeaway? Because there really was a lot that we talked about with Susan. Some of my big takeaways are, are something I kind of want to build on. We talked about a lot of things to create efficiencies in your retail store. And one of those things was an open and closed checklist. And this is something that Pauline actually has talked about for years as well. And we always mention to put your social media on the open and closed checklist because retail, Pauline used to work in retail shops. They always had that open and closed checklist. It keeps everybody organized, just like Susan said in this episode, like every single thing that your staff needs to be doing needs to be on that checklist. And I think that we sometimes forget about the social media aspect. So often I hear from retailers that they feel frustrated that their teams are not creating content for social media. And often they're not creating it because they don't know they're supposed to. They don't have any kind of direction from you. And so it's really hard for them to get started and create something. There's too many unknowns. So you kind of get paralyzed. That holds you back and you don't actually create anything. So having it on your open and closed checklist, let's say if they're opening, do they need to do a story? Give them some guidance on what that story is going to be. Maybe you've got five different things that you want them to cycle through. I have great training. We'll link to it. The Daily Five is a resource for you that you could just put the Daily Five on your open or closed checklist, probably more so open checklist. And it walks you through how to create social media content in five minutes or less a day. And it talks about what you can be posting every single day. So it makes it so easy. So I would just paste in the daily five on your checklist. And then that way it helps your team get the social media done for you. So we're showing up with our customers. So we'll put the link in, I believe it's just crystalmediaco.com slash daily five, the number five, but the link will also be in the Facebook group if you want to go grab that and in the show notes so you can listen to that really quick training and learn what that is. So are you leveraging your open and close checklists like you can be? Are, are you missing anything on there? Something even really basic, like in this episode, Susan talked about like emptying the trash can, like the really basic stuff. We want to make sure everything is on there and take some time to really think about like, what do I really want my team to be doing? Because back to the social media, I know retailers want help with their social media. Are there other areas that you really want your team to be supporting you in? Make sure those things are on the checklist. The next thing, this was big. Susan talked about the retailer's time system. This is inside of their retail mastery system. And it teaches you how to break down your time. So having floor time, focus time, flex time, and free time. Now, you got to listen to the full episode to be taken through what all those mean. And we also talk about like, how should you balance those things out? But here's the deal. I want to talk about free time. I personally, as a business owner, have had a hard time with the free time aspect. I was in a coaching program and they had us do something similar where we had our free time, focus time, and buffer time. And the goal in this program was to have a third of your schedule be free time where you like took vacation and those days you blocked off. And that coaching program is called Strategic Coach. And the guy that runs that, Dan Sullivan, he wrote the book. He was co-author of the book, 10X is Easier Than 2X. If you ever read that book, read it, listen to it. I just listened to it for my second time. And I got so much more out of it my second time because you you miss things, right? So in that book, he talks about free time. And one thing he does is he will schedule at the beginning of the year, his wife goes to his schedule and blocks 150 days. And that's their free time. It's vacations. It's time off, time with family. It's free time. And in the past and even now, like I will struggle with free time. I've talked to a lot of retailers about this who struggle with it too. So that's why I want to talk about it on the show. And I feel like it's more females have a harder time with some of the free time. We feel guilt. We feel like, but I should be doing blank, right? There's a million things that we have to do in our business. And you just feel like, oh, I have some extra time. Well, I could get ahead of my to-do list. 
or I could do that project I've been wanting to do forever, or I really should be spending more time doing the chores around the house or all those things. And we're not taking the free time because we feel the guilt and we need to be doing other things. But here's what happens because I be, I've felt the guilt, but then I've also felt the freedom and I've seen what that does for me and my business. When you take the true 24 hour free day, no work, no emails, no calls. This is no work. Okay. When you have that time fully disconnected, it allows your brain rest and it often will provide you with some clarity. You'll have different thoughts because you have the space to have more thoughts. You're not thinking about the to-do list. You're not in the business and in the store and doing all the things. We're only allocated a certain amount of energy every single day, similar to we only have 24 hours a day. And so when you're spending all your energy running your store and working your to-do list, you don't have the energy left to think about the business, to open that space up, to provide those answers or the ideas or the vision or clarity that you really need to run your business. And so we feel this guilt, but at the end of the day, you're actually really supporting yourself and your business by taking the free time. So because I've heard from so many retailers who are not taking the free time or they'll still go on vacation, but you're still attached, you have to unplug. You have to take the time. It's going to fill you up so you're a better leader when you come back. You have more energy when you come back and you're able to maybe come up with some of those new ideas or come up with better ways of doing things. Sometimes that perspective, just getting out of it, you get different perspective and you're like, why are we doing things this way? That seems really hard. <laughs> Or that seems really complicated, like we could simplify this really easy or that messaging isn't quite right. Or, oh, we're not even promoting this new thing that we're doing because we're so caught up in doing all the things that we overlook a lot. We can. So I just wanted to like double tap on the free time aspect of this episode, how important that is. And I feel like somebody listening to this really needed to hear that. Like you need to take a break. You need to actually really give yourself some free time. You'll be amazed at what it can do for you personally and professionally. So take the time and you got to schedule it. Because for me, if I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to take Sunday off or going to take a vacation, like we've all been there before. All of a sudden, like, how is it March already? There's so many things you want to do. Oh, I'll take that time. I'm going to book that vacation. And if we don't schedule it and put it on the books and make sure it gets done, it's so easy for time to just keep going on. And we miss that opportunity. We miss that chance. So I know it's hard, but you got to do it. Give yourself that. You and your team, give that to yourself and schedule it. So Susan announced their new platform called Brilliance. You can learn more at retailbrilliance.com. We talk all about it in the episodes. So you got to go listen to it. But I think this is a game changer to online learning and training for the retail space. It's so cool what her and the WizBank training team has built. You could put your training on there. We're going to have training on there. And I just, I'm such a fan. But on the episode, Susan talks about the power of product training. And I'll let you listen to that. A retailer significantly increased sales for a product simply by having more product training for her team. So that's another call to action from this episode is how are you properly training your team on products? Are you doing that sales training? Do you have your reps that are coming in and doing the sales training for you? Are there tools that you have for refreshers and for your new people? Are there level of standards that everybody needs to go through? So we're all consistent. It's funny I'm saying this because part of what we're doing here with Pauline being here is we're going through all of our copy and we're making sure like everything's consistent and everything's the crystal meaty way, the way we say things and the way we help. And we want to get really tight with that copy and the messaging. So it's all consistent across the board. It's going to help everybody on the team and it's going to help retailers understand what we do. And so for if you look through that lens, do you have that kind of consistency for your product training and sales training that doesn't matter who I talk to when I come into your store, they're saying the exact same thing. It's the same type of experience and, and they're actually selling me on the product. And it doesn't feel like that. My preference is that it's not that sleazy sales that works for some people, but more about 
selling a service. How can I help you? Let me tell you more about this, the benefits, the story. Okay, what else are you looking for? Like really being that shopping companion for the customers in your store and making sure that your team is trained. So there's just so many good action items from this. This is why I loved this week's episode. It's so tactical where you can really look at your schedule and your training and your system and your team and your messaging and all those things and create a plan to have the time off and the consistency to really create a more efficient business. The final thing, actually, there's two more things I want to call out here. I hear Bob and Susan say this a lot. WWMCW, what would my customer want? And I feel like there's an opportunity for retailers to put like a monthly note. I use Asana, which Beth Rich, who's a retailer, friend of mine, she's speaking at Evolve. Her and I are building this Asana course, like side note, it's going to be available next month and it's really good. So stay tuned. We'll announce that on the show. You're going to want to access this. Talk about efficiencies. Oh my goodness. We're going to save you so much time. There's so many benefits to this course. But I use Asana for my to-do list and you can have reoccurring things that pop up every week or every month. And I think there's an opportunity for retailers to have a reoccurring monthly task. That's the WWMCW. What would my customer want? And keep your eye on that, like looking at your marketing, looking at your products, looking at your events, looking at how you talk to your customers, looking at your store and merchandising. And yes, of course, you have your brand, you have your tone, you have your message. But we also really want to connect to our customers and make sure that we're addressing what they want. Are you doing that clearly on your website, in your social content, how you're talking to them, how you're greeting them? Like we want to make sure that there's that consistency there and we have our customers first and foremost in mind. Because again, we can get really busy running a business that we can forget about the people we're serving and really get back to them because it's about them, right? How are you connecting with them in your copy on social, on any kind of marketing that you're doing? Of course, because I have such a deep marketing background. I'm always thinking about these things from a marketing perspective, but there are other aspects to your story you could be looking at too. So I think it's a that's a great action item of having this reoccurring every month. Let's make sure we're talking about it. You could be talking about it in a monthly company meeting because your team probably has some fresh ideas too and maybe missed opportunities that, that you could really leverage. The final thing Susan said towards the end of the episode is don't worry if it's perfect just get it going. And we often say done is better than perfect. We really just, we want to throw perfect out the window. It does not exist. I often tell the story of a Broadway playwright said, how you write a character to be somebody that people hate is you write them to be perfect. We don't want perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. We always feel like before I can do anything, a campaign, my social posts, my caption, my live stream, my posters in my store, opening a store, opening, doing whatever it is. We feel like we have to be perfect at it and feel ready. And that just never happens. And so I feel like that was such a great reminder Susan gave us. Throw it out the window. Just get it going. You learn as you go. You build the confidence as you go. It doesn't start with confidence. You're never going to nail it. It's never going to be perfect at the gate. There are things you just don't know. You don't know these things yet. You can't address them. So just get going. Just start doing what you need to do and understand that's how everybody does it. Nobody is perfect and then they launch. Not, I I don't think any single person, obviously I don't know the actual data on this, but I would bet that majority of people, like 99.999% of people that do anything in this world that are launching and building a business and creating and all the things even it's not perfect. You learn through doing. So you got to jump into action, get out there. And that was something else I just felt like somebody listening to this podcast episode of After the Show needed a reminder. Don't wait for perfect. Get it done. Done is better than perfect. Get it out there. I'm pushing you. Susan pushed you. It's really good advice. So take it. Such good advice in this episode, in Susan's episode. I love talking to her. They're such good partners. We love everybody at WizBang Training you've never heard of them, go check them out. Go check out their new online learning platform. 
You'll see courses from us in there soon. And that's it for this week's episode. So stay. I hope you enjoy next week's with the Dallas Market Center recordings. If you get a chance to watch those, I got to sit down in person and do the interviews. And we sat like on a pond. There were koi fish that were swimming around me as we were filming, which is so cool. And there were turtles there were, and they were stacked on top of each other right next to me. And, and it was really a cool setting. So you'll get to see some of that in the video, but enjoy it. I hope you got value out of this week's episodes. And remember that I am rooting for you. Have a great week ahead. Bye.